Hey there, it's Patmos and welcome to a brand new episode of Academia School Simulator as we see the students get into the school. First we'll have to address something that Squid said and that's totally true. Last time we checked the um, logistics for the cafeteria and class 1 and 2, so um, that is freshman and sophomore, use this cafeteria and the other ones use these, but now they're still set to use them at the same time. So uh, sophomore and freshman will go here at the same time. And that's wrong, of course. So we need to address that. Uh, that's the wrong one. So we'll go to uh, the uh, reports, I think. No, we need to go to the schedule, actually. And have set these at different lunch times. So freshmen will have lunch at the seventh hour. So we'll see, freshmen and juniors should have the same recess and lunch at four and seven. So four and seven. And junior and sophomore should also have the same, so third and sixth. Now the freshman students will have break and go in here and the juniors will go here at the same time and an hour later it will be the same as well. So this should work. Now apparently I also found that we have a little teacher problem in the senior class. That's probably because of the extra students that we took on for the um, grants. But we need a language, a math, a history and a physical education teacher. So let's go get some teachers. Let's start with the language one. If we can find... Oh, this is a good language. We only need to hire him for a year. After that, I think we can get rid of him. But mm, all right, this could be the language teacher. We need a math teacher as well. Is there somebody that's quite okay at math? Oh, this one, but that's a small decrease in discipline. That's not what I want. Oh, this one's good as, as math, so let's put it in here. All right, let's check the schedule again. Um, yeah, history and physical education. That's it now, so let's go for history. Decrease in energy. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, we want the positive ones. History, physical education. Ah, big increase in fun. That's good, but well, that's not the right class. I think we have one for physical education. Oh, this one is for physical education. Let's hire him. Now we need one history teacher, and that's it. Small increase in energy. 18, 19, 15, 25. Small decrease in discipline. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a new batch of teachers and then see if we can find one that's good at history. Yeah, 28, so that's already better. Ah, 25, but without negative traits. 26. 29. All right, that's a good one. 29. I'll we'll take this one for history. All right, so now all classes at least have the right teacher again. Smoker has been caught. That's good. We still make some money. That's one of the things I really like. And I believe if we go to delinquency, yeah, there's a lot of bullies because we took those on, but we already caught four as well. We got three smokers. So that is working out. Landscape architect research. Ooh, that's nice. Now we're going for school park. That's another grant that we can get. That's the one that we have on the to-do list, build a school park. I would like to build a school park here, so that will be nice. And I'm kind of hoping that next year we can fill all these classrooms as well. But let's go over the classes first now while we run at speed 3 of course because we want to get as far as we can. Let's do as many days as we possibly can get out of this episode. While maintaining the school and seeing what else we can do. Now, I think we will be accepting quite a few of those bad students every now and then. So I'm thinking about doing an extra counselor's office right here. So I think we should just do that. Uh, special rooms. No. Admin. Yeah, an office. This should be an office. Let's go to objects. Office. Or... Um, yeah, we should just create an office there. And then we can put the counselor in. A fax machine and a filing cabinet. 
Ah, student has already been set straight by counseling, so that's nice. We need a floor in here, of course. Just like that. And then we can hire one more counselor. That can really help make sure that we can deal with all the bad students. Alright, that's it. Another counselor. And if we just take a look, we can see six of the bullies are already caught. Two smokers. So the counselors will have a busy time, but that's okay. Um, here we have all the water. And I believe at this point... Yeah, we have sufficient water that we don't pay for it anymore. We're not there with the electricity yet, so we might expand the electricity a bit. Um, simply because we can. And because we can, we can make some money there. Or at least save some money. Let's go check. Where are they? Yeah, wind turbine. Quite costly. But I think it's worth it. So let's build a few of those. Let's see how much that will get us. This whole row didn't get us that much, actually. 750. Student has been set straight. That's good. Now we get more and more energy now. 1,000. 1,300. Yeah, so I guess one more row. And we'll be done. With that. We're not more paying for any electricity anymore. But I don't want to spend another 18,000 yet. So that's not going to happen. We have students that don't have food. Oh, they should be getting into the um, cafeteria soon. Yeah, there they go. Now we can see they go to different cafeterias. And it does apparently fit, so that's good. They have enough. Um, we might need to add a few extra tables, though, if we get the extra students next year. So that could be one of the things to keep in mind and... Um, keep our eyes open for but we can see that they're now all eating nobody's going to defending machines so they had enough so this works better now and now the other group comes in maybe we need to hire a few extra cooks to make sure that we do actually get all the food that we need now oh, he's washing the dishes now now the other groups are eating yeah this worked out like a charm thanks squid for the good tip I just forgot about this. We did set it up to go on different times and stuff like that. But now it really works the way it should. And let's see. Alright, this is all good. Everything is good. Not broken. How are we doing at the sports facilities? You see benches and stuff break down there all of the time. But you know, it doesn't appear to be so this time. So that's nice. We're not doing any research. I guess it's time for the school park soon. Ah, we already got a lot of the top researchers. Now, let's go here. Increase cleaning speed by 100%. I also want to get to quality toilet paper so the uh, toilets stay clean. So let's go research all of that. And at the same time, we should probably be able to build the school park. Yes. All right. I think we have to designate a zone for school park. Yeah, right here. 15 by 20 is advised. I don't know, we'll do 18 by 20 or something. 20 by 24, I think that's nice. All right, a bullying incident, two students being set straight and another bullying incident. That's interesting. We can see, though, that there's only nine more bullies and four are already being caught. We have only one more smoker that's already been caught. So it is going in the right direction, I guess. Alright, we need benches, we need the fishing pond. I think we need uh, to put the fishing pond in the middle. That'll be nice. And we can place a little dog statue facing the... Uh, oh, you can only make it face one side. Alright, right here. We'll do a cat statue. And then we'll place some benches around. We can place benches next to the statue, I guess. And then we'll place a few benches right here. Well, now we have a school park. That's nice. Students can sit and relax there. Hope they do. But it will be interesting. Let's see. 
Cash incentive. Have a positive cash flow for four days. Oh, I think we can manage that. And they'll give us 20,000. That's a good amount. We'll uh, keep things running at speed three all the time now. As we go through. Hopefully we can get... Um, well, a nice amount of uh, days done this episode. Although it takes quite some time lately to finish one day. Now, of course, we did some stuff as well. But there's already 10 minutes into the episode. And we just finished one day. So we'll see how fast this is going. I'm not going to pause anymore or something like that. Ah, they chased a goon out of the school. Perfect. Yeah, goons sometimes come in. And we really have to chase them off. Ah, cleaning should go 100% faster soon. That's nice. Then we get the recycling program and then we get to quality toilet paper. I don't think we already have the better coffee yet. Uh, let's see. The clinic can have superior medicine. That's good. The kitchen... Yeah, we can't do anything in the kitchen yet. Cafeteria, that's good. Food counters, cafeteria tables, benches, plate counters. Yeah, daily usage, that's good. Faculty lounge, espresso. Ah, we already have the best coffee. Same in the staff lounge. So that's all working out. Good. Although the thing is, I shouldn't be going over those menus too long, because then the game is paused. We should probably just have it running all the time. We can see that all our teachers are taking their time off. I think we have quite a few too many for this faculty lounge, but um, at least it's something. And it appears to be working, so that's okay. And a lot of our students are just hanging out. Maybe we need a few extra benches. Oh, there's a lot of free benches, so... That's not really the case. I don't think we have any extra objects for the common area. That we could place. No, not really. So we'll leave it like this then. They can get into the common area as much as they want. Have fun there, so that's okay. We changed another goon out of the school. Now we can see right here, here's another goon. Kick him out. So as soon as you see a guy like this, just like a pirate with a little cap on, they'll come in. There's another goon. Let's kick him out. They'll be coming in regularly. Your uh, monitors will kick them out. That's why you really need a few monitors, because those goons can really have a bad influence on your students and break things and stuff like that. We'll see, though, how will things go. Well, it's day three, and some of these are already going quite well. We have a rude student. Yeah, I think we'll have more than one. Let's see. Seven bullies caught. Just two more to be caught. And the rest is already uh, going to counseling and stuff, so hopefully that problem is solved soon. Would be very nice. All right. Let's just make sure that we keep making money, that all the pieces that we see are in good condition. Yeah, we need repairs here. But that's fine. Luckily with those repairs, it doesn't really hamper with the um, abilities of the school. Some of your monitors are demanding overtime pay. Don't give in to their demands and two will leave, or at least a 90% chance. Pay them half of what they're asking for. Mm, not so nice. I'm going to do this. Pay them what they are owed. And there's a 90% chance we get a few prestige points. Yes, we got them. All right, that's good. I wonder why it goes like this. Because I'm not one that keeps money back. So they should be getting all that they need. So this shouldn't really be an issue. Now, I don't think we're going to do a lot of building at this point. So let's do this. And add the windmills that we need to actually make some money. Because, well, we're not going to spend the rest of the money anyway. We have green numbers, so that's good. Two students set straight by counseling. That's also very good. Let's see if we can... Um, get a positive on electricity, so we won't be paying for that anymore. Yep, there we are. We have a little surplus, so that's good. We can even increase... 
some of the building things that we that will require power or water and we have some access so that's good this will save us six thousand a day so i like that if if it wasn't for that we would be not we would not be running a green number right now so it is actually quite important that we have all the water stuff and etc so i'm happy with that I'm thinking should we get an extra faculty allowance for in the mornings, but I'm not sure. I don't think so right now. Ooh, let's repair. Quite a few classes are filled, quite a few recycling program research complete. Ah, so now we should be able to get those recycling bins and stuff. Objects. Um, there should be a thing for recycling. Yeah, recycling facility with recycling bins. Yeah, we can sell some stuff with that. Um, I don't want to use a big room for it, I think. I want to keep those available, but I don't think we have any other space available. For the recycling bins, no. Well, then we should create an extra room here, maybe. Or we'll just do this small one and then see what we can use it for later. Um, so let's see. Services. Recycling facility. Let's make this the recycling facility. Alright, we'll do it like that. I think we also need to place just a few normal bins here. Let's go see, where are they? That's the recycling bin, that's the dump, trash dump, yeah. Let's place these outside here, so that all these bags can go in there. I think that's for the best. Student has been set straight by counselling. Yeah, now all the stuff gets put into the garbage truck. I hope these three are enough, otherwise we'll get some extra. But I think this should be good. And now we make some money on recycling, which is also very nice. Quality toilet paper researched. Alright, that's something to go for in the toilets. Three ply. Yes, we want three ply everywhere. It will cost me more money, but it will keep things way cleaner. And that will save money in the end because we'll get a bigger reward when the year's over. And that's a good thing. Um, I think we should build a floor inside the um, recycling facility, by the way. Well, there all the workers are. Yeah, they're now building them, so that's good. Oh, they're really busy. Yep. Recycling facility up and running. Good. Alright, we're at the end of another day. Now, this day went a little bit faster. Student has been set straight by counselling. How are we doing with delinquency? Only four more bullies. Only one need to be caught. So we're almost out of all the bad students. I like it that way. That works. Students are leaving. So it's the end of the third day. We are at one third of the school year. And we can see that if we go to learning. Some are lacking a bit. But others are doing very well. This is basically halfway done. And we're not even halfway through the school year. So well, if we look at that. It, it goes really well. Well, all the workers need to leave. Then a new day can start. Alright, day four is starting and I think I'm just going to zoom out and we're going to speed up now until we either get an event or until we get to day eight or nine. So I won't do any talking ex 
except when there's an event. And for the rest, we'll just speed things up so things will go way faster. And we'll get back to it as soon as we reach day 8 or 9. And here we have an event, so let's see. I'm tired of the thug life. A goon asked if you could do odd jobs at the school. Hire him to do some odd jobs. Ooh, we can't trust the former goon. Turn him away. Ooh. Well. Um, Alright, we'll give him a chance. We're a school. We should be believing in our students. Oh well. Maybe he just... Does right for the school, which is a possibility, so we'll see. Hopefully we made the right choice. Let's speed up again. And we're back with another event. Let's see. Some funds have disappeared and so has the goon you hired. You immediately inform the police of the theft and give them all the information you have. You are upset, but let the issue drop, hoping the goon comes to his senses and returns. All right, we'll do this. Let's see, maybe we can get the money back. Yeah, we did. Very good. All right, let's speed up and head up to day nine.
And we're back for another event. Let's see what does it has to say. You have caught a janitor stealing some of the recycled goods to sell on the black market. Give him a stern warning or crime is a theft. Yeah, all right, we'll do this one. We'll lose a janitor, but we'll hire a new one. We get some good points for it. That's really nice. Let's hire a new janitor straight away. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's speed up until the end of this day. All right, we're back and we could see that at the end of the last day, our students were all trained up. So let's take a look at them and see how they did. Ah, they did pretty good. Review. And I think we should just assign him again if we can. Uh, well, not like that. We should train him, I mean. And give him a little seminar for one day into... Uh, oh, we can't do that. We can't change this. Why is that? Um... Uh, because we can't train him, of course, because there needs to be a full day. Well, at least we can check them all. Ooh, 99, 100, very good, 95. So our three teachers got trained up really well. We can put them to very good use next day, and they're still very cheap, or next year, I mean. So this is a good thing, and, um, well, I guess what we can do now is... Um, change out a few teachers and stuff like that but i think i'm going to save that for the next episode so the next episode will be the finishing of this day so basically also the finishing of the school year then we will set things up for the new school year with extra students and stuff see if all the classrooms are still okay and then we'll speed ahead again until the end of that year and so that way we can really see the school grow and flourish at its full capacity and we can keep things going and keep training up teachers and stuff like that. So all I want to go over now is how well our students are doing. Well, since there's only one day to go, this is pretty good. I think they did well. And with the better teachers, they'll do even better. So we'll end this episode right here and we'll get to the next one to finish this year. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.